In the woods I went to walking In the woods I went to stumbling through the dark Well his hair was tied with ribbon And the staff he held it frightened way Happy Halloween y'all I'm Brush Harwin Dragon And welcome to episode 2 of Dying for Daylight Previously on Dying for Daylight. Dahlia, this is Alejandro Filoff, owner of the Cirque Terrible in New Orleans. He must have the legendary Sun Potion. Think of it, a potion which allows a vampire to walk in the sunlight. Sax, Tiffany's? Is it possible? In New Orleans, Dahlia finds a war zone. Foreign invaders attack the VQ, looking for Alejandro. It appears that she's not the only cold-blooded creature dreaming of the sun. A coded message. And a visit with troop member Musty Brethren reveals a secret entrance to the theater. Is that possible to heal? And so she descends. <laughs> Episode 2, The Wizard in the Basement. Okay, uh... I can't reach it. Okay, I'll need, uh... Figure out where those figurines go. I found the secret entrance to the Cirque Terrible Theater. Well, Alejandro be inside with the sun potion? Could it be that easy? I'm a positive thinker, so I'm going to guess. Not a snowball's chance. Whatever. I'm going in. There's a door in the basement with this music box, uh, box contraption. Could it be a lock? There are four figures. A man, a woman, a dog, and a tree. But what do I do with them? No clue. It's locked. I'll need to find a key. There's a faint smell here. I should kick in my vampire senses. Someone spent a lot of time here. Someone human. Hey, hi there. Go away. What a pleasant child. This member of the Cirque Terrible vampire troop looks like a living doll, but has a dangerous tendency to start fires, especially when she doesn't get her way. She won't give up her secrets to Dahlia easily. Better be nice, or I'll set you on fire. Hey, the theater's not deserted. This little monster is flitting about. She looks like Tinderbell from the Cirque's poster. Evil little beast. Is she the only one still hanging around? Not sure I want to get close enough to ask. That's just sad. The glutton. He must be a troop member. This locking mechanism looks interesting, but I don't need to go into his room right now. Oh, hidden object time. has a cool backstage prop system with ropes. I'd like to check out all the props, but one rope is not working. Missing spring, perhaps. Uh -huh. It's a stage prop. They're raised and lowered by those ropes on the wall. Well, I got it down. Oh! A gear! Yes! Is that a boat up there? Interesting. I'd like to take a closer look if I can get it down. I need the spring for. But now I've got a key so I can get into Felix's room. Mm -hmm. 
the page has yeah. been ripped out. What do you want to bet that's the one page I need? Mechanical heart fluid. Combine three parts of motor oil with one part of blood. Heat at 425 degrees for five seconds and then remove from heat. Add one shake of dead sea salt and one drop of embalming fluid and pour into a heart valve. Mechanical heart fluid? It must be for the automatons. Mechanical heart fluid? It must be for... Okay, I don't seem to have any motor oil or blood yet, so I'm gonna go. Is this a sun lamp? What would a vampire want with that? Ow! This is a sun lamp, alright. There's not much left, but I'll take it with me. A potion vial. This is a cool looking mechanism, but it's not working. It looks like some parts are missing. I need, uh, three gears. I found an amazing automaton in Alexandro's office. It looks like a dictation device. I bet the still Magnolia has overheard plenty, but she's not talking. Her insides look a little empty to me. I know the feeling, but at least I have a shot at fixing hers. Alex, thank you for all the pretty things you've been leaving on my pillow. They're the first thing I look for when I wake up. Tinderbell. P.S. How did you know about Auld Lang Syne? That was the secret between Felix and me. Old Lang Syne? That's, that's the three years song, right? It appears there was some intrigue going on inside a theater recently. Someone was sneaking into Tinderbell's room before dusk. Ali Hanjo hired a human security forum to find out who it was, and apparently they did. Okay, now I have to know. What's that mechanical secretary could talk? This letter is dated a week ago, well before the invaders struck the VQ. Hmm, I wish I knew what that report said. Guarding your lair for a mere, more secure day's sleep. Mr. Ali Hanjo. We watched Tinderbell's room and saw the party who has been leaving items for her each evening before dusk. This party left the theater through the back entrance at 3 p.m. and returned two hours later. He went to Tinderbell's room and then came out again and returned to his own room. I'll come by tonight to finish my report. Be prepared to doubt what I have to say, but I assure you, there is no mistake. Okay, it doesn't look like I can look anything else right now. Come on. Let me out. Alright. Now. Somebody's been playing in graveyards or walking in the woods. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I can do for that. coffin. Oh, joy. Hey, look at that. That vial contained the sun potion. It really exists. And it works. Unfortunately, it was just a drop. I want more, damn it. Right now. Oh, I found the sun potion. Or a drop of it, anyway. It's torture to be so close. At least now I can be sure that the potion is real. That just makes it harder. I want it, dread it. That's and that's of it, but I still don't know who made it or why. Okay. Is there? A, oh, I can't seem to pick up mechanical any of those. heart. Uh, pick up any of those gears. And I definitely need. Oh, oh, oh. That's hidden under the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, yes, the, the game bar, the, uh, the recording bar, okay. Okay, that's definitely not enough cogs. Okay. 
There's nothing I can do about this yet. Yeah, not the right guess. Uh... Somebody's been playing in graveyards or walking in the woods. Oh! The note from Tinderbell in Alex's office mentioned Old Lang Syne. This sketch was in Felix's workshop. It's cryptic. It's so cryptic, it must be important. Oh, oh, oh! Um. Looks looks like a winding key goes there, but the key itself is missing. Okay, so I can't open it until I find the key. Uh Four more. This is a cool looking mechanism, but it's not working. It looks like some parts are missing. So just three now. Is that a boat up there? Interesting. I'd like to take a closer look if Who hid my baby? It's not funny. I want her back. Tinderbell? I think that's the V child I saw in the hall. Scary creature. Tinderbell? I think that's the V child I saw in the hall. Scary creature. Where is the spring? Fake moonlight. It's like a vampire alarm clock. I'd take it with me, but this little treasure is firmly attached. This alarm clock can be set to any hour of the day. When it goes off, it sends out moon beams that wake a vampire. Obtained by getting a screwdriver and unscrewing the device in Felix's coffin. Is there anything else here? There's a faint smell. Felix. It's written in human scent. By a human fingertip would be my guess. Mm. Behind the screen in the basement, I sniffed out a word traced with a human fingerprint. The word is Felix. According to the Cirque de Rible poster, Felix is a troop member. He looks nerdy. Not that that's a bad thing. Mechanical. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Slick. You who? Hey, what's going on? Heard anything? Not really. Would you mind handing me a bag of blood? What am I, McDonald's? Don't be selfish. Me? I'm the soul of generosity. Tell you what, you get me a newspaper and the blood is yours. I'm bored in here. Sure, 
Let me just go do that little thing for you. Okay. Let's see, where can I go now? There's something I still need to do here. The security camera's gone. Like, completely gone. Like, it was never there. What happened? <laughs> Empire Quarter. Oh, yeah, it's got the candy. Oh, I can play again! Yahoo! <laughs> That's not humanoid. That's with the broccoli! Uh, that's not humanoid either. This baby blue eyeball is, alas, inedible, but it will make a Kish cocktail decoration. Okay, then. <laughs> you have found embalming fluid. Huh. Been there, done that. I don't need to go back there again. Oh yeah, random snake. One newspaper for Slick coming up. Oh, fun. Oh. Slick? You got that newspaper yet? All right, Slick, come out. A newspaper! Sweet! Hang on! Here's a bag of blood. Bottoms up. His bottom is going to be up if I ever catch him out of there. Way up. Find the blood. Okay. Vampire. It's been cleaned up a little bit, but oh, that rope is oil. really leaking oil. That wreck is really. Aha! I'll put some of that oil in this bottle. I think I got the ingredients now. Motor oil, blood, sea salt, and plumbing fluid. Two, three, four. I need to add a few more things. A shake of dead sea I need salt. to add a few more things. And a drop of them. I think that's it. Now I just need to fill up the heart valve. I think that's it. Now I just need to fill up the heart valve. Ah, so I need to take the heart valve out of the automaton. This is a cool looking mechanism, but it's not working. It looks like some parts are missing. That vial appears to have a kind of blood that keeps the heart pumping. Ingenious. So where are these other gears? Okay. Oh yeah, that's how you leave. Okay. Oh, you open the door to Tinkerbell's room. Oh. <gasps> oh. Tinkerbell told Alex someone was leaving things on her pillow while she slept. Was this one of them? It's rather sweet, really. Oh. Mm, look at these. Stainless mesh. They'd look great with a little black dress of mine. I think I'll borrow them. <coughs> Fireproof bracelets. These fashionable bracelets are made of fireproof steel mesh. Obtained in Pinnabell's room. So that mean we stole them. 
Oh, looks like she loves her baby doll. Oh, hidden object time. You don't look like the bad ones Felix told us about. But you better not try to catch me or I'll set you on fire. Um, okay. Where is everyone? They left. I was supposed to go too, but I came back to find my baby. Have you seen her? No. Bye. That sweet little bee child needs to learn some manners. Tinderbell says everyone else left the theater, but she came back to find her baby. Maybe it's just me, but I'm not sure I want to find a baby who Tinderbell finds endearing. Then again, if she wants it that badly, maybe it's just the bargaining chip I need. The old innocent child look. It can be very effective for hunting. Not really my scene. We'll need one more cog. <gasps> the secretary plays back. Someone has been leaving things on Tinderbell's pillow while she sleeps. I was concerned about our security, so I hired a human detective firm to keep watch. It turns out the culprit is Felix. They say he leaves the theater midday, but that's impossible for a vampire. Or so it would be if it were anyone else but Felix. He's such an enigma. I'm going to search his room. It's dead again. I need another cog. That's the end? Damn. I want to hear more of Alex's recording, but I need one more cog. I've searched everywhere down here. I might need to look outside. It would be someplace associated with the theater. Suck terrible. Oh! An object time! You found a cog! Okay, um... I don't think I need anything else there. I found a moonlight device in Felix's coffin. It allows him to wake before dusk. And he had a potion. A potion which makes a vampire impervious to sunlight. Incredible. Why has he kept it from me? I'm going to confront him about it, but first... heart is out of fluid. Now what? Felix was the one leaving gifts on Tinderbell's pillow. He must have had a soft spot for the little pyro. He could leave the theater during the daylight thanks to the sun potion. Alejandro found the potion while investigating and couldn't resist using it himself. That explains a lot. Or nothing. And it treats me as Alex. Who is he really? Where is he from? How old? He's no ordinary bee, that's for sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Uh, I need to make this. Combine three part. Oh yeah, that's the recipe. I'll take this and see if I can fill it. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Secretary, please back a recording of Alejandro's voice. I did it, Felix's potion worked. I walked right in on that wedding and... Alejandro! My God! Uh, hello, Felix. You took the sun potion from my room? And you use it? In public? Calm down. There was no harm done. Well, not to you, anyway. You don't understand. Now they will know you have it. And they will find out where I've been hiding. Oh, what have you done? For heaven's sake, don't be so dramatic. Who are you talking about? They're in the PQ. Call everyone together. Hurry! Felix. We can't let them get their hands on the potion. We'll have the troop disperse. I'll give everyone a piece of the recipe. That's it. That way there's some hope we'll keep it out of their hands. We, we must go, Alex, now! Uh-oh. The invaders are after the sun potion. I'll have to track down all the pieces of the recipe before they do. I better make sure this mechanical secretary stays quiet. Shame, really. I think I'll take the heart fluid with me, though. I worked hard on that. I'm not sure if I want to laugh or rip things apart with my bare teeth. I've learned that Felix divided the sun potion among the troop members and dispersed them, but that means I need to hunt down every single one before I can give work and copy of the recipe. I don't mind the hunting part, but I want the potion now, at it. Patience never was my forte. No, Tenderbell at least is within reach. Come to me, my pretty. <laughs> I can't leave the secretary working. I don't want anyone else to hear Felix's plan. Sorry, Miss Thang. I need to silence you for good. Oh. She looks broken and kind of pathetic. I have a spring! This one doesn't work. I think there's a spring missing. Where's a maintenance man when you need one? Aha! Oh, that is one ugly looking baby doll. You found my baby! Give it to me! Not so fast. Give me your part of Felix's recipe, and I'll give you this lovely baby. But I can't. You'd better be nice, or I'll set you on fire. Oh, but you'd burn the baby. Hmm. Okay, let's trade. Uh-uh, be careful. You'll burn the paper. Felix might not like that. You're mean. I'm going to tell Alex what you did! He'll come after you and cut you into a million, billion, gazillion, billion pieces! Poor kid. <laughs> hmm, this could get interesting. To be continued. Congratulations, you have successfully finished this episode of Dying for Daylight. Episode 3, The Glutton of Gilborn, is now unlocked. Press play. Oh, wow. Thank you all for watching. And that is all for Episode 3 of Dying for Daylight. This is Brushfire Windragon signing off. The police will protect vampires. Really? Help! Help! Police! I'm being attacked! Oh! Yeah, that's what I thought. Looks like I'm not going to find out what happened here unless I run across a surviving vampire. There's gotta be one somewhere.
I have one lock left to cut. I have one lock left to cut. That newer looking padlock is tough. Even the rescue jaws won't cut it. I'll have to try another approach. There, now I've got it. Whoa. I'd better stay away from that thing. It appears to be lethal to vampires and I don't have any way to distract it yet. I like nasty creatures as a rule, but this one is dangerous. Maybe later I can figure out a way to get rid of it. Chorus sound of trumpets and the blaze it peace.